Sports Entertainment WrestleMania. Welcome to SmackDown, where Judgment Day is only six weeks away. This is Michael Cole here with John Bradshaw, Layfield at ringside, and we've got an interesting match in the making tonight. That's right, and it's all about the most important thing in this business, respect. And the respect of the fans in the locker room is something that any would-be number one contender needs. You got that right, and if you can't get them to give it to you, you've got to be able to take it. Well, what do you have to say about that? I've got to admit. 
man, that didn't go exactly the way I thought it would. Do you think this might open up the number one contender field at all? I don't think one match will make much of a difference either way. You might be right. It takes a sustained effort to earn your spot. It sure does. There isn't much room for a flash in the pan at the top. Get one thing straight, Playboy. I'm the face of SmackDown, and you better respect that. I'm gonna be named the number one contender at Judgment Day, and God help you or anybody else who gets in my way. With Judgment Day still more than a month away, things are heating up here on SmackDown. This is Michael Cole here with JBL at ringside, and John, I'm really looking forward to that big tag team match tonight. It's gonna be a war, that's for sure. None of these guys can stand each other. There certainly does seem to be a mutual lack of respect between the two teams. And if you don't have respect, you don't have anything in this business. Talk about a sore loser. He's getting territorial. He doesn't like the idea of another challenger on his turf. Well, look at it or not, I don't think he has any intention of leaving. It's too soon to tell. Anyone can have a good couple of weeks or a bad couple of weeks. Well, I think all these superstars will have ample opportunity to prove themselves. Absolutely. We've got a month between now and Judgment Day. Anything can happen. Listen, player, I'm scheduling you and your partner for a tag team match this week. If you look good out there, I'll give you a shot at a couple of... Man, word in the locker room is that your opponents don't have a shred of respect for you. And they're not the only ones. 
If you want to accomplish anything around here, you better start impressing some of us. I, I shouldn't even be calling you about this, but your friend had an accident last night. The kind that wasn't an accident, if you know what I mean. I can't say anymore. If they knew I'd said anything to you... I'm still sorting through the details, but your partner somehow got injured last night, and no one's talking about it. You ain't got anybody watching your back now, player, so you're gonna have to be double careful from now on. Oh, that's a real shame what happened to your partner, huh? Whoever did that must not have had much respect for him, or for you either, for that matter. That makes for a lot of suspects. Why, you could even include me in that list. Hold up, man. Are you still trying to become the number one contender? Man, if you want to stay in the running, you better impress me and the boys in the back in your match. We're one month away from Judgment Day and you can feel the electricity in the air. I'm Michael Cole here with JBL for another week of SmackDown Sports Entertainment. It's always intense when things get personal, and this is about as personal as it gets. You said it. Disrespect, professional jealousy, an ambush against an ally. Alleged ambush, Michael. And even if it's not true, these guys have plenty of reasons to tear each other apart. You gotta admit it. He hung in there and looked good doing it. That one could have gone either way. It wasn't the dominating victory he needed. Maybe not, but to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one contender candidate like that. Sure, it's impressive. But it's not enough to land him in a title match. I don't think he expects that. He seems ready to prove himself. Good, because it's no secret his opponent's got friends in the locker room. It's almost time for our match this week, which means your delusions about becoming number one contender 
are almost over. I don't respect you as a superstar, and I know that you can't last five minutes in the ring with me. There's less than a month to go until Judgment Day, and things haven't been dull here on SmackDown. Michael Cole and JBL at ringside, and if you thought last week's grudge match was intense, wait until you see tonight's. Tonight, that wannabe number one contender's got a chance to address that respect deficit he's got going on around here. Not to mention a chance to avenge the alleged assault against his partner two weeks ago. This is his night to put up or shut up. Let's see what he's got. Without a doubt, Ken Kennedy is one of the most outspoken superstars on the SmackDown roster. You make it sound like Kennedy's all talk and no action. He doesn't <laughs> seem to have much trouble putting his money where his mouth is. Maybe not, but it's only a matter of time before Kennedy's mouth gets him into some trouble he can't get himself out of. And there's the counter. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars, and even they wind up seriously injured sometimes. That's for sure. Even me, a former WWE, look at this, pandering to the crowd. <gasps> Nothing wrong with keeping the pain yeah. customers happy while you build some momentum. Come on, <gasps> quit showing off. This is a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. He saw that one coming. Night after night, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing. I don't even like to think you never know what you'll find under the ring. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they are going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. Here it is. He's building up a head of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. Look at that. That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You got to watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. It's crazy to think that we actually get paid to do a job like this. There's thousands of people out there who would do this for free. Really? Maybe I should look into that. <laughs> I could get a better broadcast partner and save the company some money at the same time. Keep it up. And you're going to find out exactly how tough it is to do this job with your jaw wired shut. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes, too. No, talk about adding insult to injury. 
and these fans love it. Yeah, but you gotta worry more about the injury and less about the insult till the match is over. And you just can't put it. Hanging off the ring apron is not where you want to be, and that's why. It's a tough position to get out of, and it really gives your opponent a chance to work you over. Yeah, that's just great. Why don't you just quit showing off and get down to business? He is getting down to business. He's in the sports entertainment business, isn't he? Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. <laughs> you know, if you let me train you, you could be cruiserweight oh. champ inside a year. Well, hold on. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Are you surprised? They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. These super... Uh-oh. You know what's coming next. Tombstone pile driver. How many superstars have fallen victim to that over the years? His opponent might not have One, enough left to kick two, out. Three. Talk This is getting good. Are you serious? Those two will. Shut up. Calvary's coming. And not a moment too soon. just did him a huge favor. And I'd be surprised if he didn't expect something in return. I just want you to know you don't owe me anything for that save. As far as I'm concerned, I got to take out two other contenders, and that puts me at the head of the pack for a title shot. So you're welcome. <laughs> and, uh, thanks. I don't approve of what your opponent tried to do to you after your last match, but I gotta tell you, dog, this feud is red hot, and so is this business. Listen, man, I'm getting pretty tired of hearing that little wannabe run his mouth. I got a match, but I'd rather shut him up. How about we trade opponents so I can take care of him? If you're serious about becoming number one contender, you've got to cut down anyone else who wants the same thing. That's exactly what I'm going to do tonight. Watch and learn.
Two weeks remain on the road to Judgment Day. This is Michael Cole with John Bradshaw Layfield at ringside. And after what we saw last week, I can't wait for tonight's show. You've got a bunch of superstars who all want to prove they deserve to be the number one contender. And Judgment Day is where they'll have their chance. But they've got to get there first. And that's not going to be easy, believe me. Somehow I knew he'd put in an appearance. I think he's gonna get in the ring. And I think he's got an open invitation to do just that. I don't know about that. I think I see some fear in those eyes. That was a little too close for comfort. Yeah, but you can bet that that's not the end of this. I hope that you're not expecting that this match is going to impress me or anyone else for that matter. Whether you prove what a loser you are or steal some kind of fluke victory, you'll never, ever have my respect. Judgment Day is almost here. This is Michael Cole, and on behalf of myself and JBL, welcome to SmackDown. We've got a heck of a show for you tonight. You said it. It's all about going to Judgment Day and becoming the number one contender. Not to mention earning the respect for the SmackDown fans and superstars. Trust me, if you get a shot at the title, you'll earn that respect. Two birds, one stone. Give him credit. He's not backing down from the fight. I'll admit he's no coward, but he's still not my favorite guy on the roster. I think there's plenty of superstars in that locker room who'd agree with that. Maybe that's because he's trying to talk himself into a spot he doesn't deserve. I disagree. I have no problem picturing him as our number one contender. Yeah, but he's still got one major challenger ahead of him. And you know who I mean.
This is going to be the easiest tag team victory I've ever picked up. I mean, ever. Obviously, we're clearly the superior team, but I overheard your own partner talking about what a loser you are. 